Hey guys, so I thought that I would film a quick haul tonight. It's late, it's been a long day, it is freaking hot. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even understand. It's 11.30 here, and it's probably still about 30 degrees outside. Um, for those of you in the US, it's about 86 or so, so almost 90s, which I know some of you guys have been dealing with like 100 degree weather, and you know, that's hot too. But when it's still, like when it's so late and it's so hot, it is just gross. So I look shiny. I really don't care. And I could just film this tomorrow since tomorrow I have a day off. Yay. But I'm impatient, so I'm going to film some things tonight and see how that goes. So I broke my shopping strike. <laughs> and it lasted all about two weeks, maybe. So, yeah. I try not to go crazy. And I... Well, I didn't get a lot, but I'm sure if you did the math, it's probably something I don't want to see. But anyways, so I'll start with the stuff I got at Ardeen's. I'm actually wearing one of the necklaces. It's got two birds and says love. And I thought it was kind of cute because I have a lot of necklaces, as you guys have seen, on my jewelry rack, which I'll just kind of turn over there. Lots of things. Don't mind the clean laundry. Um, and I, I don't know, I didn't have anything like this, so I figured I'd pick that up. And they have a deal where it's... 3 for 10 for bracelets and necklaces and earrings and stuff like that. So I like to take advantage of that because a lot of the stuff is like almost 5 bucks each. So for the price of two things, you can get three. So I'm all for deals. And then I got a gold necklace. It's a double tier. It might blind you guys. I apologize. Um, just because black and gold is a good combination. And if you guys know me, and especially if you know my boyfriend, he loves black and gold. So it's always good to have some gold accessories to throw on with a little black dress. And then the third piece of that one is I got a pair of purple earrings. And I have a lot of colored earrings, different styles and stuff like that. And I know I didn't have any purple. And I was actually wearing something that had purple in it the day I got those. And was like, hey, this could match. Alright, and so the next three pieces I got were bracelets. And they're also in colors of things I do not have. So I got this pearl pearlescent um, bracelet. They're all just stretchy ones so you can just pop them on. And so that's that color. And my next one is a double banded coral. And I like that. It also it looks good if you're tan. looks good if you're pale. So, you know, the summer me, winter me. Got it covered. And this next one, I have a lot of teal stuff recently. And even when you just want like an accent, I just feel like I like when jewelry ties in or when I can have like, my makeup matching something. So I've got this one. And I like the shape of it because they're little like half moons and they overlap so they have like a really nice uh, feel to them. Um, this does make a lot of noise which is kind of... can be annoying. So I know I won't be wearing th at least this one to work because when I'm on cash I'd be terrified of breaking it because it would be smashing against my cash register and my area all day and you know I can't have that and so um, the reason why I was in the mall in the first place is because I was going to Michael's craft shop and I'm pretty sure you guys have them in the US as well for some DIY projects that are coming up one that is my best friend's birthday present sorry my hair is all over the place um, and so she doesn't know the second half she knows the first one which I'll share with you guys later probably closer to when I'm making them or after the fact. Uh, if you guys are interested, they're earrings, different sets of earrings, um, possibly a necklace, and possibly um, some do-it-yourself feather extensions because we don't all want to go spend a lot of money. And apparently the feather brand that I was originally going with, thanks to Candy Johnson, and I'll link her video below, uh, do not currently sell internationally. I think they've stopped it because they're working on a distribu distributor, pardon me, up here. So we'll see how that goes, fingers crossed, because they're really not expensive and you get like top quality, stuff like that. So I'd be excited if they would ship internationally. Um, so I decided to do it, do my own version um, for now. Pardon me now. Alright, so anyways, it was because of Michael's that I was in the mall. So I went to Urban Planet, for all you Canadian gals who you know what that is. And they have ridiculously inexpensive clothing. 
And even there's some things like I work retail, as I've said before, and so I don't like to spend top dollar on things that I'm like, this isn't worth my money. Um, so I'm very finicky. But the couple items that I got, I'm super impressed with. So the first is a floral strapless romper. And I was never big on flowers and floral prints in general, but I've worked on it and I definitely have a couple pieces that I really, really like. And so this one, this is the print I would have got if I could find a full jumper. But for some reason, God or somebody doesn't want me to have a full jumper because I cannot find one that I like to save my life. So anyways, that's what this one looks like. I'll stand up. Cinched waist. It's actually got pockets. And yeah, not super long. So, yeah, first basic, little frills at the top. Anyways, I actually wore this the night I got it because my boyfriend was taking me out for dinner and a movie for my birthday because it was the night for my birthday, so he'd spend midnight with me. And he actually coincidentally picked up his phone when it turned midnight and poked me and said happy birthday, old lady, because I've hit 20. And even though he'll be 22, I'm the old one. Figure that one out. So the next thing that I got, um, and I actually wore that with the pearl bracelet, and I will show you the shoes that I got, and I'm so excited about the shoes. But anyways, first, I apologize, it's wrinkly because I wore it to a Sega this weekend. So it's a floral tank, but the back is a bit longer than the front which I actually like. It sits really well. And it actually says love in gold letters, which I like because it's not like blatantly obvious. Like it's it's a subtle touch because it goes with the tones of the shirt. So I like that. See if you guys can like see the reflectors. All right, so I like those. And then these shoes, okay. People who know me will know that I have been on the hunt for a pair of nude heels for over a year. Like last summer, last spring when they came in and were starting to get a little popular, I was kind of like, I would really like this shoe. I'm a shoe person. I love shoes. I wish I could have more of them. I wish I had money to spend on them. And so Aldo was my go-to place. And last year, the only re reason I didn't get a pair was because they sold out so damn fast that the shoe I wanted, the only size they had left, was an 11. Now tell me, I'm like a 7. I can fit a six and a half. They have half sizes because I like them to be tighter so that when they stretch, they don't stretch to be too big. So sevens are like, they fit perfect, but if they stretch a little bit, they get a little, eh. So that was the only reason that I didn't spend the 80 or $70 on last year. Now I'm fussy and I don't want to spend $80 on these shoes. I found a couple of them that you Americans are so lucky because you don't have to pay international shipping, even though it's not super expensive. But anyways, all the sites I've gone on, they're like 15 or 20 bucks. It's going to cost me between 15 and 30 bucks to ship them up here, depending on what store I go to. And I'm a patient. And I don't know how long it's going to take, and I want these shoes. So I got a bit of a compromised shoe. Um, it's actually nowhere near what I want for that shoe, like the patent leather pump. That's okay. I have a friend who has them in my size, so I'm going to steal those from her. But I got these ones. Okay. The thing I love, these shoes are so comfortable. And because of this, they do not slip and slide and flop everywhere. You will not land on your face. And they're, they don't have like any extra padding, but they're really squishy and they're just really super comfy. And the band hits your foot in all the right spots. And yeah, so just, it's got a nice silver buckle. And I like the wood finish on the heel, and I don't actually mind seeing the bumps on it, but it is flesh toned, you can see on me. Obviously it's a little more, for sake of argument, a little more taupe than what my skin color is, because it is a very, very just plain Jane skin type color. Anyways, these look super cute with the romper, because like, with such a bright and vibrant outfit, I, like, I, you could have picked any one of these colors and worn shoes with it, but I figured this was more of the background color, and so it just pulled it all together. I put a brown belt on that because, like, oh, you can, you can wear it just the way it is, um, but because I was going out, I thought the belt looked a little bit better. So, tied that up. And then, when I was at work, Old Navy, in Canada at least, has a 75% sale going on right now. It's driving me crazy, and I am so freaking sick of it, because customers 
are coming up with things that are, are nowhere near a sign. <laughs> nowhere near a sign. And they're like, it's 75% it's off. And then I'm just like, no, it's not. But anyways, so I got myself a pair of shorts. And these shorts are originally like 25 bucks. Even with my, di like with my discount, they'd obviously be less than that. But they were on sale for $5 and change. They were either $4.97 or 6 something. Anyways, they go with my nautical, like, I like nautical things. So, they're just blue stripes. And they have a rope belt. Nothing fancy. A couple back pockets. Nothing uh, crazy. And despite looking quite short, like that is the inseam, they actually sit a little lower so you're not scared that your butt's gonna fall out because I do have some shorts that are like that and so they don't get worn out very much. And because I'm such a loving girlfriend, I plan on going with my friends and my boyfriend to the beach, to a Sega or whatever. So my boyfriend doesn't have a lot of swimwear and he hasn't been able to hear the secret yet because we keep missing each other on the phone. But maybe if you end up seeing this before talking to me, I got you some swim trunks. Actually, maybe I did tell him. I can't remember now. I wasn't sure which sizes because our sizes could be a little wonky sometimes. And I didn't think he'd be very brave when it came to um, these short prints. By the way, four sixty-seven is what those shorts cost me. So he got black hibiscus flowers. And then I believe he got a brown pair, or not a brown, a blue pair. Wow, I have too much stuff in this bag. Okay, so black and white stripe. Then I have a gray plaid, which I like. And then the blue. And we have one, these are on sale for $9 Canadian. I'm not sure what the equivalent is in the States. Um, but we also have some planar pairs for like four sixty-seven, dollars something ridiculously cheap. But I didn't think he'd be adventurous, so I stuck with black. Black, and you guessed it, more black. Because those are his colors. And I tease him and ask him if he likes to blend in with his skin. And he rolls his eyes at me. And so then I call him a shadow, and that's the end of it. And I also went to Chapters. I had some gift cards from Christmas, and I finally got around to spending it, and more so, like, more than that. But one thing I'll just show you guys because I can explain the books and stuff on my site. So check that out if you're interested. I've got a huge wide variety of things that you'd never really put together. Some are some food books. Um, other ones are just day-to-day -day books. One book I know you guys would be interested in has to do with makeup. So go to my website and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the one thing I'll show you guys is this candle. Isn't it cute? It's actually, I can't read that one because it's got a sticker on it. Where is my, I got three of them. They were 50% off, so they were like $4. Anyways, they smell so good. Oh my gosh. It's, it's lychee berry or fruit, whatever it is. I'm not sure if it's a berry or fruit. Anyways, it's lychee and something else. And I swear, if you guys smelt this, I would have had to fight you for them. I got the last three. The other flavors were ones that made you go like this. Like, they were not my scent whatsoever. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Check out my site. I'll link Candy below. And have a great night.